is Linda with Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. And I want to make just a really quick kind of impromptu video to talk about a little something. I'm going to try to talk fast and make this short because I'm doing it on my phone and I think my Facebook notifications are going to be flipping through here. But anyway, I was um, noticing some things about some other uh, teachers, preachers, people that use this medium, uh, YouTube and Facebook Live and different things to get their point across or do a teaching, which I love. I listen to all kinds of people and I listen to, I learn all sorts of things. But once in a while I've seen someone, and I'm talking especially in the Christian community, I've noticed some people get a little too sure of themselves maybe or a little too um, overzealous. And if they are speaking about someone else who may not have the same uh, thoughts or opinions or think the same way about a certain subject that they do. Once in a while, I'll notice a little like, you know, they'll talk a little funny or they'll like, and then she said, and they'll, and they'll use a funny voice or they use a, a sarcastic voice and mimic the person. I personally don't think that is what we are supposed to be doing. Um, several years ago, I had the Lord gently reprimand me i was using sarcasm and i thought he said you're not you're not using what i've given you i've given you the ability to articulate what you want to say to someone and you're using it in an improper way i thought i was being witty i really did i thought i was using words like really cool and make them feel this and make them feel that and that really is not what the lord has given us our vocabulary for so i just wanted to bring that out sarcasm is sin it's plain and simple. I believe that sarcasm is sin. If you want to speak to someone and show them that you have a dis you disagree with them, or you want to talk about someone you have a um, a different opinion about a subject matter that they're talking about, or whatever it is, and I, I've just noticed this happening in several of the places where I go and I watch people, and and pe these are people that are um, using this medium, as I am right now, but I mean in a in a in a bigger, um, larger capacity. There's a larger a really large audience and I just thought no we're not supposed to do that we're not supposed to be sarcastic especially when we're talking about a brother or sister in the Lord just because um, we disagree with them so I just wanted to bring that out I don't think sarcasm is where we need to go I think if we're smart enough to try to figure out a subject matter and we're studying and we are reading and we want to share that then once we share that we are responsible for our behavior we are responsible for what we've said as well and we are responsible for how we present it and how we present ourselves so I, I certainly want to be responsible in that aspect myself and I would say you know if anyone's seen anything that looks like sarcasm you know coming across from me to you I really would want that pointed out but I try to speak in a way that would be uplifting and we always want to speak light so uh, that is just the word I have for today speak life and if you have to have a disagreement with someone remember that someone is someone that loves the Lord too and that the Lord loves so we can take our disagreements and we can properly talk about them we've seen a whole lot of different things in the news right now and people that just on on all sides that are just not behaving in uh, in a way that's um, gracious we need to be gracious even if we're trying to make a point we can do that in a way that is gracious so i just wanted to, to share that with you today this is linda with the life station express i'll talk to you soon thanks a lot for listening bye bye